Hello, my name is Mark Cruz, and I am excited to tell you about Nikon's newest flagship DX DSLR, the D500. In many ways, this new camera is very similar to the new D5, sharing much of its groundbreaking technology, such as the new 153-point autofocus system, the new 180,000-pixel RGB metering sensor, and the ability to record UHD 4K video files. One other similarity is how close the button placement is between the D5 and the D500. The same ISO button move has been implemented on the D500, making it very easy to change the ISO value with the press of your index finger. Not only is there an AF on button at the back of the camera, but there's a sub-selector joystick as well, making it that much easier to change autofocus points quickly. The buttons are also illuminated on the back of the D500, enhancing operation in low light situations. There are also many small differences found in the D500, starting with the dual card slots. There is now a UHS-2 compatible SD slot, along with an XQD slot. Not all current SD or CF memory cards are capable of sustained write speeds fast enough for 4K video recording or shooting long continuous bursts. So the new XQD slot allows you to realize the full potential of the D500. For all the sports or wildlife shooters out there, the continuous drive mode of the D500 is 10 frames per second with full autofocus and exposure. And thanks to the new XQD card slot, the buffer will enable you to shoot 200 14-bit RAW files in one burst. For the photographers who are always in gyms or indoor arenas, there's also a new flicker reduction option that will ensure a constant exposure and color reproduction between shots. The D500 now has a brand new 20.9 megapixel DX size sensor with no optical low pass filter. When combined with the new XSpeed 5 processor, it has a native ISO range of 100 to 51,200 ISO, and it'll ensure the best low light quality from a Nikon DX DSLR to date. Even though it shares the same new 153 point autofocus system as the D5, since it's now being used on a DX camera, the coverage is completely edge to edge. This means that almost anywhere you can see in the viewfinder, the camera will be able to lock focus on your subject. The 3.2 inch LCD is the same resolution and has the same touch capabilities as the D5, but on the D500 it also has the ability to tilt, just like the D750. In the video department, the D500 has a few added features over Nikon's other DX DSLRs. It can now record UHD 4K files, but by creating individual three-minute files, it can record to the in-camera memory card continuously up to 29 minutes and 59 seconds. There's also a three-axis stabilization system available when recording full 1080p videos. Thanks to the ability to reduce camera shake in this vertical, horizontal, and rotational directions, you can handhold the D500 to get much less camera shake in situations that don't allow you to use a tripod. Active delighting can now be applied to full HD videos, letting you preserve the highlight and shadow regions of a high contrast scene. This comes in handy when you need to use footage straight from the camera without making post-production adjustments. Sharing your images wirelessly is now much easier than ever, since the D500 now includes Bluetooth low energy technology, which keeps your camera connected to your smart device at all times when it's in range. And with Nikon's new image transferring app called SnapBridge, you're more connected than ever before. With this new app, you can automatically transfer images right to your smart device, browse images on your smart device, even use it to remotely control and trigger your camera. Receive firmware update notifications for your registered camera, embed IPTC information, or Use the location and date time information from your smart device to sync up with your camera automatically. If you want better ergonomics when shooting vertically or increased battery life, there's also an optional battery grip, the MBD-17. Also, if you're looking for pro-level wireless options like you get with the D5 and the WT6, you can get the optional WT7 
It includes both an Ethernet port for wired connectivity, as well as the ability to wirelessly send files to computers, smart devices, or even FTP sites. The D500 is perfect for someone looking for a rugged and durable body with a cropped size sensor that can also shoot at 10 frames per second. If you'd like more information on the D500, please visit Nikon.ca.